Alright, here we have a 2017 Chevy Express 2500 rear wheel drive. This is a one owner van with 48,000 miles on it and is in pretty stinking good condition. Uh, <clears throat> awesome little vans, these guys. People love them. They can hold plenty of cargo, tools, uh, lots of people are doing ca camper conversions on them, which isn't a bad idea, you know. Uh, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. You can strip them out easy. You can fit them to whatever you need them to do. They could just about handle it. So, uh, one owner, 48,000 miles, 6 liter V8, um, and overall just a really nice running, driving rig. So, let's get into it here. Over here, you got power locks, power windows, and power mirrors. Right there, you got your headlight controls, so automatic. Uh, this toggles on and off, parking, and then that toggles uh, permanently on. You got your dome, as well as your dimmer dial there. Manual seats, uh, it's pretty standard in all these vans. It's pretty straight forward. Start it up here, I'm only gonna start for a minute, so we gotta go get some fuel in it. She's a little low. 48,000 miles. I'll buckle up here. Runs and drives beautifully. Fires right up. Nice, quiet, smooth, and it makes plenty of power for something this size. So over here you've got your cruise controls. Um, that's the toggle on and off. That's the cancel. Obviously set and resume. Over here you got your hands-free phone controls. So uh, voice commands, seek up, seek down, also pick up and hang up. You can skip forward and then there's your source button as well as volume controls right there. Here's your tow haul mode. If you push that, you'll notice a little trailer come up on the dash that tells you you're in tow haul mode, which is good for... Uh, well, obviously towing and hauling changes the shift points in the transmission so you stay more in that ideal torque range climate control hot cold on off where do you want it um air ac is nice and cold heater blows nice and hot so everything there works as it should you got your radio uh we already went through that it's am fm cd bluetooth uh yeah just below that you got a 120 outlet there you got your traction control on and off, your passenger airbag, your emergency uh, respond buttons, another 120, the USB, and another 120. So a couple of those nice handy little cubbies there. And here is your uh, glove box because these rigs don't have a, uh, a glove box over in front of the passenger. Um, that's pretty much it. So you can see the owner's manual is in there. Up there, you got your rear climate controls. So you can either control them up here or you can put them on auxiliary and then they will be controlled by the ones right there. So pretty straightforward. We'll go around and check out the rest of the van here. Pop the hood. So this particular van is one of the ones with the sliding side doors. I'll show you that. Um, real nice if you've got little kids and you're worried about them uh, or you, if you don't have kids and you don't have to worry about them slamming you know getting their fingers caught or something like that um, if you don't have to worry about that then it's a good way to go uh, I've seen people that prefer the barn doors because they have kids and they're worried about it I've also seen people that prefer the barn doors just because uh, they open a little flatter you could hook a grill to it uh, for your camper conversion or what have you. So right now two rows of seats. The rails do extend all the way back here um, for another set of seats. You do have to get the right style ones um, for them to be able to lock in here. Uh, I believe there's two styles. You can see how far apart those legs are. And there's another style where there's another rail that goes pretty much in between these that uh, the other seat can sit on. So. 
do you do have options to add the seat uh we don't have another seat that would fit in this one but it, the option is there we'll go to the side here and there's the big sliding door like i was saying so if uh you know it's not super heavy it's not automated um real easy to open and close so that's not an issue nice comfortable seats in the back here you got floor mats for each row even the fronts have floor mats pretty straightforward so this buckle right here comes forward latches into there and then that is your front uh side seat belt for here this seat belt right here latches into this side so all the seat belts in here are you got all the ones that you need and they're all functional ready to go so there's your rear climate controls uh if you had the front on auxiliary then that is where you would uh control your temperature and where it's coming out of we'll go to the front Nice clean door panels, nice deep cubbies, uh, so you can still hold a lot of stuff in the doors if you need to. The nice clean seats, obviously been pretty well taken care of. So again, no uh, glove box over here on the passenger side because it's right there. However, you do get a couple of cubbies up here on the dash that will hold smaller items if you need them to around to the front pop the hood and there she is six liter v8 vortec nice and quiet no knocks bings pangs and we'll look underneath and you can see Nothing really of note. A little bit of dripping from me washing it. That's pretty typical. Um, nothing super brown or red. No, no pack rust. Just, you know, slight, very, very slight browning on the surface. It's about what you'd expect uh, from something in this year. So, overall, a very nice van. Uh, runs and drives beautifully and is ready to go. So, uh, 2017 Chevy Express, three-quarter ton, one owner with 48,000 miles on it. Come see us here in Athol, Idaho. Give our website a visit at www.familymotorcoidaho.com.